I just saw this video on social media. This guy in, I don't know what martial art it was, uh, was getting taken down and he had keys connected to his gi. And when he got taken down, he fell on his keys and his keys went up in his foot. Now, I wanna explain to you guys today uh, what you should wear for no gi and things to avoid when you are training and this is a big example of why because the amount of force that you have to do in order to get keys to go straight into your foot that deep is insane so usually in gi you have the material over you you usually have a set outfit and a lot of people generally avoid things like keys and jewelry and loose pieces of metal and stuff on their outfits so usually this doesn't necessarily happen but in no gi it's very common for people not to wear the correct attire and can cause accidents so for us females, most of us wear really long tights or spats. I like to go for something extremely high top so things do not fall down. I don't have to keep readjusting in a roll. I'll show you right now. You can see these are extremely high straight up to the belly button. Now I like to make sure all my tights I buy are really thick material. A lot of the thin ones that you can buy at the Jiu Jitsu brand are too thin and I find that they actually get holes really easily when you're moving around and rolling and also they could be quite see-through. So I go for tights that are super, super thick. So one, they're not see-through, less likely to tear and get holes and they also protect me from gi burns on the mats. Now when it comes to males, when it comes to shorts, Jiu Jitsu has their own, a lot of Jiu Jitsu brands have their own shorts. I recommend getting these. Most of them do not have pockets. The last thing you want is fingers and hands being caught in pockets. You do not want anything with a zipper. Now zippers seem fine. A lot of people are like, yeah, I'm not going to get stabbed with a zipper. It's not necessarily about you getting stabbed with a zipper. These things are loose and they can come off and they're on the mat. As you saw with the keys, that force on a zipper is going to go inside your body and it's not going to be a fun little journey and I'm a fainter and the last thing I want is to have a zipper or a button or a hair clip stuck inside me and have to go straight to emergency to get it removed. So pants avoiding zippers. Velcro is fine as long as it can be closed. Pockets avoid pockets as much as possible. Last thing you want is fingers and hands to be caught inside them. And another thing is tops. Now, most people just wear their ranking t-shirt, a really fitted rash guard. These are made for the material. You can get surfing ones are the same thing, as long as it doesn't have pockets. A lot of people, even higher rank belts, love to wear loose t-shirts, even tight rash guards with a loose t-shirt over it. I personally hate this. The reason for that is because when you get sweaty, the material becomes heavy, and then you're more likely to get tangled up in it. I've had my fingers caught, my toes caught, my wrist caught inside really loose bag and material shirts, and I'm always worried that I'm gonna hurt myself. I've sprained my wrist before from being caught into someone's shirt and things like that are just accidents going to happen when you're rolling when you're scrambling when adrenaline is going you don't feel these things happening in the moment so it's really important to make sure that everything is fitted nothing is loose there's no chance for things to get stuck and caught for your safety and your training partner's safety so like i said before a few things to avoid Truly, I said in a couple of videos, I have a lot of girls that come in with full ear piercings, nose piercings, rings, everything, and they're like, it's fine, I'm safe, I'm not gonna get hurt. It's not necessarily about you, it's if that piece of jewelry falls off, it's gonna go inside someone else of your training partners. Bobby pins and hair clips is a one I see a lot. A lot of girls will cover their head in bobby pins to keep their hair back and stiff, which is fine, but if keys can go into your foot, then a bobby pin is easily gonna go into someone, and the last thing you want is to go into your, because if you're rolling your spine, it has to it just has to go into the wrong area and you are done and zippers things like pockets anything loose taken off all rings all jewelry so that's pretty much it that's all you need for no gear with gear you usually have your gear material so you do take off your things like your jewelry and you do not necessarily wear the loose clothing you have a really fitted gear so usually it's not really super common usually people don't have keys connected to their gear but with no gear make sure everything you have on is skin tight the better thank you guys so much for checking out my video sorry for the graphic little video of the dude with the keys but it was a pretty shocking video and i did want to make a point because that is one of my biggest fears when i am rolling is that someone's going to come on with their zipper or earring or something on the mat and it's going to be stabbed and i'm going to be bleeding and i want to go emergency because i've rolled on something with that much force so just make sure that when you're rolling everything is skin tight we have rash guards we have spats and we have these tights and pants built for a reason because of these accidents that can just happen out of nowhere so in the meantime keep being strong happy and healthy if you haven't already press that big red subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video